Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with Prince Doran, the Shadow of Doran. In the last episode, guys, I was doing my best to move some pieces around to make sure that we could take the Westerlands away from these, um, this traitor, this Sherman Martell, who is now going by Sherman Baratheon. Um, I have some Lannister pawns I've been trying to move around, but it's kind of a delicate situation. I had two botched trials, which kind of made me look like a jackass. I was I had to execute some people so I could get the right marriages in place. But Daenerys has moved against uh, my the, the Stormland Martells by revoking uh, Anara, Anara's claim, and. I have, so because of Dornish law, I can't push Darren Martell's claim to the Stormland because he only has a weak claim. But I can push Claire, who is married to my to Horton Lannister, who I was hoping to put on the Westerland. So I'm going to keep them because I don't want to lose him. Uh, and now I have Griffith Martell, who is second in line to the throne, to the Iron Throne, I suppose, betrothed to Nymeria. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it that way, although part of me wants to make sure. I could do it this way. They're betrothed matrilineally. But he's a Lannister. Hmm. Hmm. I could do that instead. You know what? No, I think I'll trust her for now. That's a good match. I don't think the AI, the AI will undo it, but it's possible. Let's go for it. Uh, so, Nymeria Martell, who's betrothed to Griffith Martell. Nymeria, okay. Uh, I don't care if it breaks the truce. That's bullshit. So, let's go. Oh, hopefully I did Stormlands and not Storm's End. Okay, good. Uh, okay. So let's call everybody in. Let's get everybody up here to Black Haven. Uh, all right. All right, good. And the Talies are on our side. And hopefully, yes, Sherman has also joined us. So again, this is a, such a weird situation that's going on in the Westerlands. So like I've said a million times, you guys are probably so tired of me saying this. I think Tisella never forgave me for killing Raymond, but she knows that if a Martell was on the throne in the Westerlands, that probably wouldn't last very long. And also maybe she kind of wants to fuck me over and protect Raymond's legacy because it's possible that she really loved him. I mean, look, she's depressed. She's widowed still. Uh, you know, uh, she's probably mad about how I killed him and I was the one who tricked Robert into thinking he was a bastard in the first place. So I think he wants to protect her husband legacy and also keep her son safe and probably maintain a little bit of power for herself uh but you know uh i think she knows i'm coming for them but he's always there to help me he has been very helpful with taking old town taking the stormlands so uh i think she's playing the game pretty well and it's possible i don't know i might not be able to take it any at the end of the day anyway but i still have some time but let's see. Um, now we gotta make sure that the Stormland stays in Martell hands. I can't have another fucking Baratheon High Lordship. Um, any claimants to the Veil that I could maybe... Interesting. Very interesting. So John Aaron. Yeah, you know, let's get him to court. I don't know who this is. He has a Wikipedia page, though. Um, oh, okay, I think because we started, like, after Robert's Rebellion, it's possible that he hadn't died yet, like he had in the books that we were watching. But he has a strong claim on the Vale. How old is her son? Okay, her daughter. Can we get you to come too? Yes. Okay. Perhaps we could... Oh, he's a strong claim on the sisters. 
Okay. Sisters is part of the Veil too, right? Yes. Okay. He has kind of a lot of men, but we have, you know, pretty strong allies, I think. Um, I don't th even think I have someone that I could marry her to. I mean, yeah, my dynasty men who are not married and not betrothed. Yeah, it's a very small list, pretty much just bastards. Oh, okay, but we got Rodri, so the last child of Anara. Uh, oh, fuck, and he's with them. So he has a strong claim on the Stormlands, but Darren doesn't. That makes no fucking sense to me. Okay, whatever. I think, I wonder if that's also a glitch. Uh, the next series that I'm going to play on the Game of Thrones mod, I'm going to play with the cheat codes on, because this weird stuff keeps happening. That doesn't make any sense. Why would why would he have a claim, but Darren doesn't? I don't know. Okay, anyway. So we might need to move our men back a little bit, actually, because we do not have everyone ready. Uh, ah, fuck, but it's too late. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. Can you move here? No. Uh, we could catch them here. Ah, uh, okay. No, well, you know what? I guess let's just go. Yeah, let's just get everyone to Blackhaven as fast as possible. But I don't think we could catch. You know what? No, we'll just. I'm just gonna send them to. Oh well, maybe they can make it in time. Actually, okay. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, okay. They stopped. Good. That's good, so they know we have reinforcements coming. Uh, and our allies are moving in, so that's good. I think Daenerys is starting to realize that uh, I'm probably not what's best for the Targaryen dynasty. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. Um, okay, how is Claire doing? Pregnant? I would love to ransom her, but I don't think I can. No. Yeah, so this makes no sense. Rodri Martel has a strong claim. But Darren doesn't. I, I no idea why. He was just the heir. He was just the heir. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we can keep sieging this, but I'm probably going to attack them as soon as we get all of our men together. Mm, okay. Okay, almost, almost. They landed a really tiny army on Gaston Gray for some reason. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, I think we are ready, but... Okay, we can't catch them. Okay, well... Yeah, I'll start by just taking Blackhaven. It's always good to make sure you don't have any strong fortresses in the rear, and this is the gateway to the Stormlands for us. Uh, this is Dondar This should be Dondarian territory, yeah. Joshua of Sandship. Um, I don't know who this is, so I any he's a twelve-year-old with cancer, so he should probably be focusing on the gods. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna break them in half and have one group go to Lawnmouth. Who rules here? House Foghurst. Is this the ancestral house? It is not. No, House Lawnmouth. Ah, okay. Which has gone extinct. Or at least lost power. Okay, so I have a claimant here. Theoretically, I could put him on the throne, but I'm not really sure exactly what I should do with them. Uh, 
I don't have anyone that I could really... Oh, she's pregnant. Okay. Well, then let's let's wait for that then. Well, you know what? I'll... I'll well... Hmm. Okay. What is this? Queen Daenerys has proof that I have slandered her. Uh... Okay. Sure. I can stay out of faction. I was worried that she was going to try to arrest me or stop my war. Uh... Okay. Okay, it looks like this war is going to be a little bit slower. Um, okay, sure. You can keep a good relationship. Whatever you want, Miss Will. Or Miss... What are they named? Torland? Toland. Toland, okay. So they're going to send an army down here. Which is interesting. Uh, I think we'll probably be able to make a pretty big dent in their siege, in their territory by the time they get to Sunspear. But worst case, yeah, I think we can take these two and then send our men anywhere. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, what's this? Darren, to the level-headed Prince Doran of Doran, I wish to ask permission to make him a Reachman. No, he will say, he will stay Dornish. Lord Ulwick has approached you with a request to remind you of the favor he er, he owes him. Uh, he wants me to investigate a rumor for him. And... Alright, looks like I have done it. What is this? The spies have been successful and identified the plotter. Sir Denzel! Oh, alright. I remember this guy when he came to court. Uh, okay. Uh, so is, is this going to be Doran's last or last political action. I keep forgetting that he's not going to live forever. <laughs> he is 69 years old. This man is not going to be around for very long. Uh, I think I'm going to cancel this ambition to fall in love, possibly. You know, my guy had uh, some worries about the afterlife. So maybe I should move him to a theology focus, but then I kind of, you know what, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I can spy on people with this, but it kind of has stopped being useful. And I kind of want to stop myself from dying. Um, hmm. Morna. Okay, Claire, still not pregnant. Still a child, technically. Um, and, you know, this claimant's that... Oh, oh, interesting. He's actually the heir anyway. And excellent. So he's the heir, and he is, for some reason, agreeing to marry this old woman who won't be able to give him children. So basically, he's agreeing to John being the heir. Okay. Let's hope that she has a daughter... Or, even if it's not a daughter, we can marry the the, the, da, the son matrilineally, matrilineally to a Martell. And then we can get rid of these Aarons. Um, ooh, okay. So Anara has been hanged by Daenerys. That is not good. Oh, and look at that. Claire has become an elusive shadow. Very nice. Claire Martell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Aegon is back. He has declared war against Daenerys Stornborn. Holy shit. And it looks like uh, the Iron Islands and the Reach are on her side, his side. Well, we definitely need to declare for the queen because my that's going to fuck with my situation. Okay, you know what? Let's try to get rid of him. Let's try to spy on him, in fact. Spy on Aegon. Maybe we can get rid of this kid. Um, we will see. Let's do one thing at a time, though. Okay, so she has 15,000 men from Dorne, so that should help. I mean, he has 53,000 men, which is a lot, but she also has a lot of men. Although uh, the Reach are on their side. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, I think the Reach and the Iron Islands are saying, uh, okay, we don't want to be ruled by the Martells. 
and Daenerys is not exactly helping stop that. So this is kind of an anti-Martell war using someone who claims to kind of be a, re a descendant of the Martell. So very interesting uh, world we are leaving behind. Okay. So their army is now coming back up. Okay, so we're at 20%. Hopefully if they can get this... Oh wait, where is Storm's End? Oh, it's there. Okay. Um, should we just link up and assault these territories? Maybe we should. Damn, I can't believe that Aegon came back. I've never seen that happen. So I guess now he did like an adventurer thing. Oh, my scheming has come to fruition. King Quintin wants to kill Lord Giles. Oh, why would I do that? I wouldn't inform the queen. Ugh. That's my son. So I'm throwing my son under the bus for some reason. Oh, whatever happened to that kid? Still nothing. Jesus, when is she going to give birth? I feel like that was forever ago. Late pregnancy? No. Hmm. Okay, well, let's keep an eye on her. Okay, final months. Okay, I'm going to assault this once we get all the men joined up. Uh, okay, game's going a little bit slow. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna assault it. Oh, holy shit! That did not go well. Wow. Okay. Our men got fucking destroyed. Uh, okay. I'm going to come up here. And let's see if we can just beat them in the field. Take Storm's End. Or, you know, maybe just take Estermont. Call it a day. Yeah, these red wicks still have it. Uh, oh, my God. I guess our army's a little slow. I guess our army is also probably really low on morale. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to send them to Estermont. Fuck it. We are winning, but it's going slowly. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, what's this? So, ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so the baby died. That's a shame. Harold Sunderland. Um, I wonder if... So I don't have any Martell babies, do I? Um, if I could get rid of... I don't think I have any Martell boys that I could marry her to. Let me look again. Um... Ronan, he's married to a doggett. Maybe I could get rid of her. She's acted dishonorably towards me. I could give that a shot. Trebor has married this random girl. Um, Trebor, what the fuck, man? You're still with him? Were you part of this plot against your family? Ugh, okay, that's stupid. Uh, okay then, maybe Ronin is our best shot here, but he has cancer. Trebor, man, I, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Well, we'll see, maybe after the war, something can be done. Darren, okay, you know, Darren, maybe. I mean... She's kind of a ticket to the sto to the Westerlands, though, and he's in my court actually. Okay, you know what? So that that could that could possibly work. That could work. Okay. Okay. So we'll keep it for now. But eh, you know, we have an avenue to the Vale. It's just it's a little bit troubled at the moment. Uh, oh, he has a new wife, but she's forty-two. Um. Hmm. 
<laughs> I would love to get rid of this motherfucker, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Could I get rid of her? I could get a divorce. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Is there a ticket to the north? I mean, we kind of we have a very Dornish-looking person <laughs> on the throne already. Um, Mariah Stark has a strong claim. She's married to a Flint. Jono Stark. Tiala has a strong claim. Oh, okay, interesting. Very interesting. So maybe you could get married to this. What happened to that uh, Roydos kid? Oh, he's also not with me. Not Roydos, Rod Rodri. Uh, okay, well. Hmm. I don't think I can pass on the Martell name with that. Disqualified from line of succession. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a shame. So there is another ticket to the north up there, but I need to get Rodri if I want to make that happen. Okay. Oh, okay, so hold up. So these guys are going back into Doran. Okay, let's speed things up a bit. Ninsen? Ninsen has arrived at my court. Shadowman. Interesting. Okay, let's get our guys over to Estermont. I think we can probably attack it. Siege it down. Or assault it, I'm sorry. Oh! Okay, so Doran Martell is no longer our participant in the claim. Olivar Martell is now the new king. Oh, wow, so she has died of depression. So my prince, her grace, Queen Daenerys, has taken her last breath. May she repose in peace. Now her heir will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Okay, let's see Oh, sorry. if this kid is going to become a Targaryen or not. It's a very high possibility, but... We have a matrilineal betrothal here, which could save us. Let's see. Long live the king. House Martell. Good sign. Good sign. No! Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so he has taken the Targaryen name. Of fucking course he has. But we have a backup plan. We have a backup plan. You know, it seems like um, my plan of doing this does not really seem to work very well. They seem to really like to take the names of the predecessor. Um, uh, who are you? A Septon? I don't think I need you. Sorry. I think that people are kind of trying to distance themselves from me. Uh, because... I, they, they, the Martells aren't exactly popular because of all the power grabbing that we've been doing. <sighs> That's a real shame for Doran, man. That is a real shame. You know what? Maybe it's time to hang up the intrigue and focus on the afterlife. Because now we are 70 years old. We have done a lot of really bad things. And he had that scare in the earlier episode where he was worried about the afterlife, so. And, you know, to be honest, we could use the health boost. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're almost there. Almost there. Uh, okay. No! Ah, uh, okay, fuck. And he got rid of this. He got rid of the betrothal. Man, that's a shame. Okay. Man, man, oh man. Okay, that is a big shame. Uh, Maya? No, why not? Okay, well, I guess that kid's gonna try and stay a Targaryen. Um, I don't know if I want to help him anymore. 
Maybe I should. Oh, fuck, but I took the intrigue focus. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we should start a faction for. someone else, like Griffith, maybe. Maybe we could start that. That faction. Uh, I wonder if I would be able to ask people to join my factions. Maybe not while this war is going on. Oh, here we go. Ask to join faction. Uh, I have a favor with him, so... All right, so we got 30% strength. Uh, okay, you know, actually, maybe once the war is over, we could get a few people to join in with us. All right, yeah, let's just take Estermont and hopefully put an end to this war. There's no one of value here. Well, okay, so we get the war score up quite a bit. I think we have to beat them in the field, though. Ooh, yeah, okay. Let's get up there. The parchments. See if we can take care of them. Uh, okay. You know, now I have kind of no stake in this war, to be honest, because, you know, it's a Targaryen or a Targaryen. Uh, he shouldn't have taken the Targaryen name. I don't know who would... Probably, probably pretty much everyone at court. Um, advised him to do that, except for maybe Quitten, but uh, I vote against this motion. Hmm, you know, he probably might not even have this. Ah, he, never mind, he still has a lot of men, and he'd probably have a lot of allies. If we install. Griffith by oh okay he's he's ready he is ready to marry uh, Elia which again I can't really believe but okay so yes marry your 33 year old wife uh, I will give him the custom Mary dowry and we have an alliance with him maybe we can even ask him to join our faction once this is over. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Let's go up to Fellwood. Or Galemont. Galemont's a cool name. Like Gale, Wind, Mount, Mountain. That's cool. Wonder who is the Lord of Galemont? The Swigerts. God, they have a fast little army that I just cannot seem to catch. Let's see, maybe we can catch them here. Okay, it looks like we got them. That's good. Okay. Alright, there we go. So, okay, and Daenerys seems to be... Or not Daenerys, Olivar seems to be winning against... Aegon, but hopefully they will be nice and weakened, and perhaps maybe even the Ironborn and the Reach will want to get in on this. Uh, okay. 73, that's pretty good. We'll take this back. And we'll take this back. And this back. And then soon we'll have a Martell on the Stormlands too, which will also be helpful. They might also join us in these factions. I really hope she doesn't take the fucking Baratheon name. It's possible that they won't, but I really don't know. I, I really don't like how they do this. I, I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play it differently next time. You know, it's possible I can turn that off. Maybe I should just look into that. I think that's a rule you can change when you set a game. Uh, okay. So... We'll wait a few days for this. Okay, we're at 92%, so that's pretty good. Oh, Tumbleton and Torrent Peak are getting out of the war. Or changing sides. Okay, 99. That's good. So it looks like the ticking is on our side now. 
Probably because we have their capital. I don't know if this assault will work if they have... Okay, yeah, we got it. Uh, ooh, what's this? My investigation into the rumor of a plot in King's Landing must have alerted someone. Armed thugs are breaking into my room. Ooh, I managed to flee the thugs by escaping through a back door. My prestige, however, did not go unnoticed. Should I leave the council? If I didn't have this stupid plot stuck, I could do it. What is this? Kidnap claimant? Uh, isn't the claimant at my court? Oh, he's with my son. Interesting. Okay, well, let's let's do it. Okay, so now we have a Martel in charge of the Stormlands. But I'm going to guarantee it that they are going to adopt the wrong name. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I did every fucking thing I could. But, we still have a Baratheon in the Stormlands. And a Baratheon in the Westerlands. Despite my best efforts. Well, she's still married to... Griffith. I guess there's a possibility. It seems actually now that it's not a possibility that that's just how it happens. Uh, I'm going to turn that off next time. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, maybe I can get her to join my faction. I mean, she is betrothed to Griffith. Oh, well, or at least she'll be in my alliance. Um, hmm. Okay. Alright, well, she has accepted. Um... Okay, and whatever happened to Claire, by the way? Claire still not pregnant. Rodri is in hiding. Trebor, would you come to my court? No. So Trebor is now here. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to look into how I can get rid of that stupid rule that makes them take the wrong dynasty. Uh, I understand the logic behind it, but obviously, as Doran, my intent is not to, you know, put someone else on the throne. I want the Martell. So, theoretically, oh, what's this? Uh, oh, okay, so she has joined in the war. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave this one here, guys. This also has me thinking that it makes no sense to try and overthrow Sherman. He, anyone I put on there is just going to take a, a different dynasty. Um, possibly even a Lannister dynasty. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, but we still have uh, probably a few more years left in Doran. So, in the next episode, guys, I will... Oh, actually, it looks like there's a chance I'm going to die now. So there's uh, some armed thugs breaking into my room. Will I escape with my life? I managed to get away. Okay, so people are on Doran's trail. Perhaps I should resign from the council. Although, I don't know if I would resign my position. Although I am kind of pissed at this Olivar kid for taking the wrong name. But, okay, no, I, I will stay with him for now. Um... Okay, well, I'm going to call this episode here, guys. We're getting really close to the end for Doran, I think. So in the next episode, we'll see if there's anything left we can do. Um, maybe we'll just go ahead and join in this war in support of my grandson. We can pretend that he's a Martell. And, yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave the kingdom off in a more stable place by the time we finish the series. So, all right, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you next time.